Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me here the Master of Hoppers today looking at yet another Demolin beer. And this one is another of their barrel aged beers. This is the, another barrel aged variant of the Demolin Heal in Fedumis. And this is the Misto bourbon barrel aged version. Now this is an 11% barley wine. This was bottled on January 28th of 2013. So one of the new batches of barrel aged Heal in Fedumis. Wow, this one was actually not filled completely through the top and almost, as almost all the other Timolan beers I've had were. Um, this is like the last Timolan beer I have around at the moment. Uh, I think we could get some different ones still locally, so I might review those. But it's got a nice full bodied kind of black color when you look at it in the glass. Nice, a little more than one finger of a tan head. Let's check out the aroma. Mmm, yeah, a lot of vanilla and bourbon. Maybe not as intense of a bourbon character as on the wild turkey barrel version. But I'm getting a little bit of alcohol on this one too. That kind of almondy slash marzipan kind of aroma with vanilla, touch of coconut too. Mm, it's actually got a really nice bourbon kind of character as well, like a really nice barrel character. Dark fruits, like dark fruits, figs, roasted kind of notes, raisin, uh, coffee, raisins, um, kind of like the raisins dipped in, you know, the, like the bourbon, something along those lines. Touch of alcohol. The more I smell it, the more alcohol I pick up. And sugary sweet notes like brown sugar as well. Dark chocolate. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Yeah, that's really nice. But it doesn't have as much uh, barrel character as the wild turkey, in my eyes. It's still really nice. This feels a little sweeter, though. Making it a little more, more at my alley. I'm picking up some sweet sugar notes, that kind of sweet marzipan. Or marzipan slash almond, I know it's kind of a similar flavor, but I feel like marzipan sometimes sweeter. But that kind of flavor, more concentrated. Um, back end, I'm getting a lot of like roasty, oaky, tanniny flavors. But not really bourbon. Bourbon is mostly just an initial sip. Um, coffee lingering on the back end as well with like, with like some licorice notes. Mouthfeel is full, but lower side of full, not the full as a mouthfeel. It is creamy though, and the scotch is almost like spicy, vanilla, cinnamony kind of interesting character in there, like a, like a Christmas type spice, almost, just like a hint of it. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm um, picking up one of the raisin dark fruits, kind of like the bourbon soaked dark fruit kind of thing. Really nice and creamy, dark toffee notes, the, the kind of chocolate, dark chocolate notes in there as well, some coffee, sweet sugary, brown sugary notes. This is a really nice bourbon barrel aged beer, for sure, but it's not anything that's just mind-blowing compared to uh, some of other bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts out there. And don't get me wrong, it is a freaking phenomenal beer, but I think you can find a little bit better, but still, I mean, worth a go if you can get it. So. Rating wise for the heat in for doing this from the moon, the Mr. Bourbon Barrel Age version. I'm gonna go 91. I, I gave the uh, Wild Turkey 92. I'm gonna go a little lower on that, on, on this one, just because it doesn't have as much bourbon character. And I am picking up a hint of alcohol. But other than that, it's a phenomenal beer. I mean, the moon makes some really nice stuff. So, oh, and if you ever, if you ever had the chance to get the Bet Out of Hell collab they did with. And if you still can get it, they did with um, Flying Dog, get that stuff, that was great. So yeah guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Heal Inc. for doing this Mr. Barrel Aged version, if you've had it. As always guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I want to say cheers and some delicious bourbon barrel aged beer. And I want to see you guys in another beer review.